So I thought about suicide today. Um, I want to try and be honest here and, and talk about these things because I feel like I haven't done much stuff for my channel recently and because, uh, you know, life's been kind of up and down and like a lot of people who deal with some of the things that, that I deal with, you go through phases where you feel like you have nothing to contribute. Um, and especially if, 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 I don't know, plans or life or certain things aren't going the way you, you thought they would or, or the way you expect them to, you begin to really doubt your ability to leave a positive impact on other people's lives or even just impact the lives of, of your family in a positive way. Um, this weekend, um, this past weekend, I, I taught a resilience class for the Army. And in the class, I talked about one of the reasons that I believe that people commit suicide. And it comes down to being the hero. And that may sound strange, but what I mean by that is a lot of times, and I can speak from personal experience because this is what I go through pretty often. In fact, it's what I went through today. Um, when, when things don't look good for the horizon or it looks like you... I don't know, your, your outlook is bleak, however you want to put it. You think, what can I do to save or salvage the situation? And for my situation, I'll tell you straight up kind of what's going on with with me and the way my brain works. Um, I have a very good life insurance policy, not like amazing, amazing, but um, about a half a million dollars. And when I get feeling really discouraged and bad, um, I tend to think, well, if I were to do something, if I killed myself, at least my family would be taken care of because they'd have all this money and they wouldn't have to worry about stuff. Because a lot of times when it comes to discouragement and, and, and contemplating suicide, a lot of times it comes down to money, um, stability, security, things like that. And today was one of those days. And like I literally just had these feelings less than five minutes before I made this video. And I wanted to make this video while the feelings were fresh in my heart and my mind and let you know that this stuff can come out of nowhere. I mean, I was just going along trying to figure out, okay, like trying to game plan. What are we going to do? How are we going to fix this? What's going to happen here? And then all of a sudden, like the thought came into my head, well, if you killed yourself, you wouldn't have to worry about money. Your family wouldn't have to worry about money. Everyone would be taken care of. Um, and for an instant, it was a wonderful idea. I thought, wow, this fixes all of these problems for other people. And it's not like I'm going through unbearable pain or I'm miserable or I don't want to live. Heck, I enjoy living. I like my life. I love my family. I love all these people. I love... I love being alive right now, but in this moment, it wasn't about me. It was for the other person. It was for how, what can I give of myself to protect the people that mean the most to me. So it doesn't always make sense. And it doesn't make sense to me because there are times when I have I've contemplated suicide in the past where I have been miserable and I've wanted the pain to end. But this wasn't one of those times. Um, so there's just so many different reasons and I, I'm making this video just to put this out there and help people understand that it's not about always dealing with your own stuff or dealing with pain for yourself or dealing with, um, you know, a discomfort that you're going through or depression and you don't like your life or whatever. It, it can be because you want in a misguided moment to help save and give to other people, which you know, if you really sit back and let it cool down, like let those thoughts cool and step away, you realize the negative impact that committing suicide could have on people for years and years and years and years and generations to come. Um, so understand that I get this and this is where having this perspective and having dealt with this, like this is not the first time I thought this, this isn't the dozenth, the tenth time, the hundredth time I thought about this. This is something that crops into my thoughts way more often than I would like to admit, but it's the reality for me and it's how I unfortunately live my life. And you know, I talk about sometimes not committing suicide is like out racing a, an angry, hungry dog. At some point, maybe you're going to get tired and you know, someday the dog may catch you, but you keep running as, as 
fast as you can, as far as you can. Um, you know, because you don't want to get caught by that. Like any addiction that someone has, it's never something that you get over. It's weird to compare suicidal ideations to an addiction, but it, it can be similar. Uh, where that that feeling or that that desire or whatever you want to call it never really goes away. Um, at least not in my experience. And I'm almost forty, and I've been dealing with these feelings for over twenty years. So I don't know. I hope this helps you. If you have ever felt this way, to know that you're not alone feeling like this. But just like me, when you have these feelings, you have to put them out there. Acknowledge that you have those feelings. Don't blow them off and then be like, oh, I'm just being stupid. Say, hey, you know, why do I feel this way? But then create some perspective. And if you don't have people to talk to that help ground you or anchor you, find someone to talk to. Today is a day that, like... I've needed someone to talk to and I haven't reached out to certain people, but I'm making this video kind of as my way to talk to all of you at once. So I know this video is getting long, it's already over six minutes, so I apologize for going so long. Again, I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you whether whether depression is a thing for you, whether addiction is a thing for you, whatever it is that you go through that you need help to try and push through, know that you're not alone. Know that these feelings and these desires and these, these cravings to, to fall into your stuff can come from anywhere. And if you're having struggles in life, you're so much more prone or so much more susceptible to dealing with it. Just be aware. Protect yourself. Surround yourself with people that love you. Find ways to give back like what I'm doing right now. Try and help other people. Help yourself. You're loved. You're valued. I promise you that you're an important person. And I appreciate you taking the time to watch this whole video. I hope this helps someone and talk to you soon.